In this video, we got a gameplay on the new Galaxy Opal Chris Mullen in NBA 2K23. My team, he's going to be a 98 overall small forward shooting guard, and he is 6'7", so not a bad height for that shooting guard position. And we know Chris Mullen's going to be an absolute sniper with a 99 three ball, 98 mid range. Also does have a 90 driving dunk, 90 ball handle, which is pretty good for a Mullen card. His defense is solid with an 80 block, 94 steel, 95 perimeter, 90 interior defense. And then he's also going to be super athletic or pretty good athletic wise for a Chris Mullen card 94 in the speed category 95 vertical 88 strength and then also does have a 95 lateral quickness looking at his badges he's got 20 on Hall of Fame including agent 3 amped blinders catch and shoot claymore clutch shooter corner specialist dead eye green machine guard up limitless range mini magician slippery off ball volume shooter clamp breaker quick first step anchor ankle braces clamp and off ball pest as well and then he does have 28 gold badges putting him to a total of 48 badges which is not that bad for a galaxy opal but the main thing i do want to test out with chris mullen is going to be his jump shot and also what dribble sticks they did give him so looking at his jump shot i believe he has his exact same base and exact same upper as he did have on his uh, pink diamond version if you guys use that card from the uh, galactic conqueror spotlight I mean, it's it's an okay jump shot. It's a little bit slow here and there. It, it kind of gets a couple bad uh, load up animations, but I would say it's a solid release. I wish maybe he got like a new jump shot instead of having his same base and his same upper, but it's not bad. It's just not great. It's not a bad release, but it's also not great. So it's just kind of somewhere in that middle should be good in the catch and shoot. And then his SIGs, I mean, he's got some pretty good SIGs. I don't think he has the best escape in the world. Like I'm pretty sure that, yeah, that's the Kobe escape. I'm like, 95% sure that's the Kobe escape so not the best dribble sigs on Chris Mullen he does have the normal fade though which is pretty cool so I mean all around it's gonna be a good offensive card I do want to test out his jump shot in game so let's go green or more three and let's get on to the Galaxy Opal Chris Mullen gameplay into the clutch time online game here with the Galaxy Opal Chris Mullen my opponent also does have Mullen, uh, Mullen at the shooting guard position so it should be a really good test as why are we attacking George Mirasan that is just not a smart idea on the first shot and then we're gonna go ahead and miss that wide open in mid range so not a great offensive start here from chris mullen but like i said he also does have mullen at the shooting guard position so it should be a good test to see what see what mullen can do against chris mullen but yeah looking to play good defense on his isaiah thomas we can't get that board though we are letting ben simmons grab all them rebounds can we finally box out and get a board we do and we just got to get the ball into the hands of chris mullen trying to get harold minor and chris mullen here in the pick and roll looking to go around that screen we get a wide open look chris mullen we're gonna miss we are going to miss wide open with Chris Mullen. That's like the one thing you should be able to do at an extremely high level. And we're going to miss wide open. That is not what you want to see. I think we're like over four to start off this ball game. So we are having a really rough start. He's going to pull up there in transition with, I believe, Glenn Rice and knock it down. So we got to get going, man. We got to get going on the offensive end. Having a really poor start here on the offensive side of things. Looking to create some space. I just don't like that Kobe escape, to be honest. He's going into a zone, which is just so irritating, man. Going to look to find Yao Ming in that left side corner so irritating when people go into a zone in the gameplay because it's then just impossible to actually score the ball with chris mullen except for like passing the ball inside you know post up post up pass back out like i'll go show you guys how you're supposed to beat a zone but it's just so so boring you just call post up for yao ming you go into the post someone's gonna drop and then you kick to the corner and i can't even get the ball inside because he's just gonna play that lane and get the easy steal it's just so frustrating as he's gonna pull up there with his chris mullen and knock down that three so it's just so annoying man having to play people that go into a zone in a gameplay is legit so so irritating we got a little bit of space though and we finally do get our first points there on the ball game as we only trail by one point got to get back on chris mullen is how is that not our steal as i thought we just picked that out of the air trying to play good defense i mean great defense so far from chris mullen i've actually liked what he's been doing on the defensive end finally wide open though and you know if he's wide open he's most times you know i would say more times than not he's not going to miss a wide open three how are we not getting these steals like one of those have got to be our steal, man. That is two times where we have been perfectly in the lane, perfectly baited my opponent and can't get the steal. But good defense there from the squad. He's going to force up a terrible shot. And we're looking to push that ball here in transition. Can't let him set up that defense, man. Because as soon as he sets up that zone defense, it's just going to be that much harder to score because George Mirson is just sitting in that paint with his like 98 foot wingspan and getting all of these steals. But yeah, we got to get the ball into the hands of Chris Mullen. It's just impossible to score here in his zone in the half court setting because now he can just pinch that corner there oh man it's just so irritating having to go into a zone or having to face a zone i should say chris mullen though fading to the right he don't care about no zone able to knock down that three i mean 
He's been playing good defense. He should have had two steals by now. So playing elite level defense and finally starting to get the offensive game going. Looking to find him here in that right side corner. Don't really have too much space. And yeah, that probably wasn't the best shot there. Probably was not the best look we could have gotten. Trying to find Scalabrini here underneath the basket. Can we finally get some wide open space? Chris Mullen looking to take him off the dribble. We got no space. And yeah, this is just going to be a dump down low to Yao Ming for that easy dunk. So let me know in the comment section down below. What do you guys think about the Opal Chris Mullen? Are you guys maybe going to look to add him to your squad? I don't think he's realistically going to be that great at the shooting guard position. I think he'll be solid. Like he's definitely a runnable budget card. Like he's going to be solid for a budget shooting guard. But I think there's much better options like a... I'm trying to think of some shooting guards like a Richard Jefferson, I think is a lot better than Chris Mullen. Uh, even Shane Battier, I think is probably a decent amount better. Jared Wallace, Michael Red, I think all of those guys are slightly better than Chris Mullen just because they give you a little bit more than just be able to shoot the ball wide open because that's right now all I can really see with Chris Mullen because he doesn't really have like the greatest dribble sigs in the world. So it's not like you can run your offense through him. He's an okay defender, nothing too crazy. He's not like super tall. He's just a decent height. So like the way that I'm kind of looking at Chris Mullen is all he can really do is shoot a three wide open. I mean, at this point in the year, we're like, what, May 12th? If all you can do is just shoot a three wide open, like how good of a card are you actually going to be in game? But like I said, he's going to be solid. I just don't know if he's going to be better than some of the current budget options because you've got a guy like Richard Jefferson who has a great jump shot, just like Chris Mullen. He can drive to the basket. He can defend at a higher level. So that's why I'd probably use a card like Richard Jefferson over Chris Mullen. Also, because I think his release is just a tad bit too slow. Like I definitely prefer uh, Richard Jefferson's jump shot than and Chris Mullins. My opponent seems to like it because he's able to knock down a lot of threes. But yeah, for me personally, I don't know if I'd recommend picking up this card. I would just go get the other better budget options as we can't even knock down anything right now, man. Like I just do not like his jump shot and that's all he's really good at and known for, you know, is his release as we're going to look to find Cedric Maxwell here wide open. And that's a card that I definitely do like the jump shot of as we do have eight points, one rebound and one assist. Just not going to put up the craziest, craziest performance with Chris Mullen. If you're using this card, he's just going to be able to shoot wide open, play solid defense, drive to the basket when he needs to. And he's got decent size to the shooting guard position, but you can't really expect much more for Chris Mullen as we're not able to get that shot off. Ben Simmons able to get the blocks. I mean... I don't know, very disappointed in Chris Mullen, thought he was going to be a lot better of a shooting guard, just didn't give him a new jump shot and didn't give him those like elite level dribble sigs that he desperately needed. So let me know what you guys think. Maybe I'm just overreacting. Maybe you guys think he'll be an elite level card as we are able to knock down that four point shot. I mean, let me know your guys' opinions because me personally, I'm not too high on the card. I Like, I'm not saying he's bad. I just don't think he's going to be really that great, especially if he goes for like anything over 10,000 MT. I just don't see how he's going to be worth it when there's cards like Richard Jefferson, Jared Wallace, Michael Red, Shane Battier, even Mike Miller. I would probably take over Chris Mullen, but he won't be bad. Just another Galaxy Opal card that can shoot a wide open three. But let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about Opal Chris Mullen, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.